So I've had a miscarriage. I'm sorry. It's not just her. It's everyone in that restaurant. They're intent on causing problems. They sort of always are. Was it not enough? That I did the paint job? I thought it would be. I really did. An intelligent person would have taken the in, but they're not intelligent people, are they? Probably not their fault. English is a second language and all that. Coronation Street comes in at number six. It moves up a spot, but only because Emmerdale fell so hard. After Emmerdale's 50th anniversary, I tank that terrible show in my rankings because the writing is so bad. But Coronation Street's writing is almost equally bad. It's it's really hard for me to figure out the bottom five. For months now, I've really had a hard time figuring out the order of the bottom five. And that is because all five shows are bad. The writing on all five shows are have been consistently bad. Now, Coronation Street less so because just a few months ago, I would say Coronation Street's writing was very consistent and good. But over the past few months, as I've talked about over the past few months, Coronation Street's quality has been going down because there's not really one good storyline, in my opinion, that's well written. I think every storyline going on, A, the writing is weak, and B, there's an annoy, at least one annoying character in every single story. And I can't deal with a lot of annoying characters for long. So I, I could make the argument that Coronation Street should be lower, especially because I'm not even going to have a lot to talk about today because I don't find any of the storylines that good or interesting but i i still think overall the soaps below corn industry and my rankings just have a little bit worse writing just a little bit worse writing than coronation street the most annoying storyline has to be summer and aaron just the character of summer in general and i've talked about this a lot over the past year about the summer story and how she's always a victim and always making poor choices and just becomes really annoying and she always falls back on the crutch of her diabetes as an excuse for her actions and and being annoying and on the other side of that we have Aaron being abused by his father because his father's an alcoholic so we we should theoretically feel sorry for Aaron it's not that I don't feel sorry for Aaron it's that the writing is bad uh and the relationship between Aaron and Summer is just very annoying but they've been trying to help Aaron and his father and get his father into rehab, but it's not working. He continues to drink. I also don't like the aspect of the story of them making it seem like the only reason his father abuses Aaron is because of the alcohol. Uh, that might be part of the problem, but uh, his father's still an abuser. That's, that's the bigger issue here. He's abusive. But anyway, Summer becomes pregnant and becomes even more annoying they want to sell the baby to get money but then she loses the baby and then summer still wants to sell the baby but there's no baby because she lost the baby but summer just wants to be the annoying brat that she is i guess here i i just i can't stand this story i can't stand summer for much longer corny you, you gotta kill her off or something kill off summer so, or you don't have to kill her off but send her away the character's not working. Please send her away. <sighs> then there's this the racism story going on. Where there's this racist named Griff. And Max has been dating this other racist girl. And he's been falling for all of Griff's racist rhetoric. Basically overnight. Becoming extreme. Uh, and this is the same group that was marching for climate change basically but but somehow in the story that was like an undercover operation but they're really just racist and they don't want any refugees uh coming to britain i think the problem with this story is there's there's two big problems one is that the pace has been whiplash 
when it comes to Max becoming an extremist. But, you know, Max has always been, over the past year or more, a f***ed up. But he's been messing up a lot, causing problems for himself and other people. So maybe, just maybe, I can kind of see him becoming a racist so quickly because he's just a terrible scumbag kid. But then there's the other aspect of the story as well. Spider, who used to be this just this hippie guy, and I've talked about this in months past, now he's an undercover cop and he's been undercover with this group because I guess they are racist and extremist and he's trying to investigate it and take it down. He's really getting into the thick of things. I would enjoy this aspect of the story more if it fits Spider's character, but it doesn't. I've said this in months past, Spider being an undercover cop is a complete character change for that character. But anyway, the 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 refugee Darian is basically attacked, kind of by he's punched at least by this extremist group who surround him and harass him. It's it would be a better story if, like I said, it was better written. But also they kind of just it's over the top with portraying this group. A, because they started as a climate change protest group. So like I said in the past, it's it's just not logical storytelling. Like, this group is supposedly acting like they're these big liberals when it comes to climate change, but they're really low-key racists who want refugees out of the country. It's, it's too much. It's over the top. And they just, they hit you over the head with it constantly. You know, I did like Roy owning Griff. That, that was were, were good scenes. But overall, the story isn't working for me. It's just not. Like most of the stories. That gets us to the other story and the annoying character in that story. That being the kid. The kids, really. Sam and Hope. Both kind of annoying. But anyway, there's this book by Hope's father, uh, John Stape, who was a serial killer on Coronation Street like a decade ago or more. And they've, they've always portrayed Hope as this like kid villain, this this kid psycho. And that's whatever. I, I There's a trend of British soap operas doing that lately. And she is the, the, the daughter of a evil serial killer. So sure, why not? But the writing of Fizz and Tyrone always rewarding her bad behavior as parents is just too much and it's just it's so annoying to watch because i've said in the past i already don't like the characters of fizz and tyrone they get on my last nerve and then you add in hope into that equation and they get on my nerves even more so as you can see my biggest problem with Corey really right now is how annoying so many characters are and until they either get a good storyline or less annoying characters I think Coronation has to keep dropping in my rankings. I loved it for so long. Uh, in, in recent years, Coronation Street was the, the, the soap I probably watched the most because it had solid writing at times. But right now it just doesn't. The other annoying character, Steven. Steven's also annoying in his character as he continues to unwind because he owes people money and he, he accidentally killed a man and he's hiding that and he just keeps going up the deep end more and more. He gets in a moped. It, <laughs> crash and hurts his arm some of it's still comedic and I don't even know if that's intended but it is but overall he gets on my nerves too so just to end this video because I really don't have a lot more to say about these stories they're not good right now they're more annoying than good because of the characters so I hope Corey can turn it around soon get back to their consistent good writing that they had for well over a year, but lately they don't have it. Uh, the the storylines are poorly written and con and convoluted, and the the characters are too annoying, too annoying. 